What an absolute palaver that was this morning. It's been paid for in advance, and they're like, oh no, it hasn't been paid for. And then spending ages trying to uh, check the old bank account, and then they eventually come back, oh, we can't do it because it's Sunday. You'll just have to pay in cash now and we'll uh, refund you the whatever, the money later. Hopefully they do, because then we've paid twice for it otherwise. But uh, we're eventually there, three hours later. Um, and the ferry's supposedly 1.30. Although those cars will sign up saying uh, 4.30 which wouldn't surprise me because uh, whenever we left here on the buses it was routinely an hour or two late. In other news, that camera, the third camera, oh wonderful modern technology, they put a firmware block on it until you've registered it. So I have to download an app, plug the camera into the phone, sign into my account, do this, that and the other, and the account details that I've got are about a thousand miles away at home, so I don't have a camera that works. But uh, yeah, it's way later than I would have liked. Let's make our way around to the ferry port before I get blocked out or left behind. At least the next ferry, we know that we have to pay for it when we get there. This one, we thought it was all done and done. Done and dusted. Squeeze around the back of this truck. No trucks down that road. Awesome, cool. Why well, not going that way then? even though there are clearly trucks parked around there. Spin around in this parking area. So this is the other parking area, since we're doing a grand tour of Ancona. One space over there. But yeah, that other place where I was parked was better because the check-in has a complimentary free Wi-Fi. And I was just close enough, close enough to uh, get it in the truck. Embarco traghetti to Carthes. Yeah, if I had gone in the route that uh, I originally was going, I would have come down from the left there, instead of having to go around the back. your park. A five minute walk away just behind these buildings in front of us there's a very nice supermarket that uh, the driver's recommended. Dot was it now? I can't remember. 18 possibly? 16? I think I need the first one. I took a picture. Yeah, check in for Dot 16 I think it said. Barriers down there so that leaves us only so many choices. Once I get on the boat, <laughs> no idea where I am, what cabin, when, where, what, why, whether it's shared, whether it's single. 
Have I gone to the wrong one? Is that supposed to be in that lot? <laughs> oh well. So this is what happens when no one directs you. It says to turn left here for dock 16. He's got the same one as I've got in the windscreen. Patras and XC lines, but no one tells you nothing. What I'll do, I'll have a quick walk around, make sure some of these other trucks have the Patras uh, thing in their windscreens just to look sort of like I am in the right place. No one tells you or directs you anywhere. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane, this port. There's a little bit of movement. Unsurprisingly, 1.30 came and went. It's now next okay at the bottom so I don't have to do a hill start.
Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Thanks. Engine off. Brake. Entry driver one. End country. Italy. Entry vehicle, train ferry, entry stored. Now what I'm going to have to do is take one of these cameras with me. So, I'll see you upstairs. So, this is the cabin. Nice and small. Uh, it is a shared one. There's the other driver's stuff. I don't know who he is. It, uh, it was already here when I got here. But, uh, Going by the keys, he drives a Volvo. So, now that I've found the room, I have uh, just had a shower, and there is a nice vent. Oh, it's on high, lovely. So I should be able to get some decent sleep tonight. So these are the uh, cabin keys, it's the same for the Minoan. Um, yeah, with top deck, I've always done Minoan, so I'm not familiar with this ship, so. Once I've got my pyjama bottoms, one of the first things I'm going to do is just walk around the whole ship and try and work it all out. Because uh, I don't know the layout of this one. But uh, I got the Minoan... I don't know if it's the exact one, but I'm on the Minoan lines on the way back. Um, so I might recognise that ship. But this one I do not. But I will put my t-shirt back on and look a bit more respectable. But uh, yeah, we'll have a little tour of the ship. Looking at how everyone's parked, so I can't go right, I've got bollards in the way. I can only go left. So I'm probably going to be one of, if not the last truck off the boat. But I don't mind that, I can just follow everyone else to the exit. Because unlike Ancona, I've not been through a Patras, Patras port before, but looking at it on Google it looks somewhat simple. Exits towards the south, entrances at the north, and then in the middle there's a check-in area for when you're checking in on the return leg. I can see the port behind me. We've just got to wait for the trucks to start moving now. Right, we're away. I'm not going to be the last one off the boat. The guys on the right-hand side are. We've got quite a nice little tight swing round here to come down this ramp.
we get lined up in time. Just about. Okay, second last off the boat. Literally is only about an inch or two between them. Swap over. Follow the local, I suppose. So we're in the building, or underneath the cover. No gatehouse people here. Cool. Seemingly. No passport checks or uh, port tax. I did want to check the old uh, PLF passenger locator form and then uh, did a nose swab. can go. We want the signs to the main motorway which is over to the left somewhere. I uh, don't want to turn right so we'll move over. Athens, yeah, straight on. Cool. Yeah, we want to head towards Athens and specifically Piraeus Port. Athens, 228 k's, easily doable in a day. Just do I want to go that far? It's four o'clock, it's what, three, four hours to Athens? Two and a, yeah, three and a, two and a bit hours, three hours. Jesus, that's, that's the main road from the port to the motorway. Athens, Athena.
nice looking bridge. That's the way you come from on the coaches, come down over that bridge and then along towards Athens. So once we've gone past this next junction, it's technically all going to be familiar ground until we get into Athens because then I'm going to diverge. So I'm not heading towards the best Western Hotel or Ibis Hotel, whatever it was. Electronic tags or card? Seven euro ninety for a truck. Cool. We'll go through the big wide one at the side. First toll of several. Keep the receipts. Something you'll see quite a bit of in Greece, as this example shows you, if you're slow, uh, or slower, significantly slower than the general flow of traffic. People will just generally move over, create an unofficial third lane, uh, so that you don't have to move over into the outside lane and cut everyone up. Caution, high risk of fire. I see some suspicious looking clouds on that uh, other side of that mountain. No other rain cloud looking things around, normal clouds. I'm suspicious if that's uh, the wildfire smoke. Yep, that's smoke and a lot of it. I don't know where the next parking space is, it could be miles away. Might as well just carry on. I'm still a fair way from Athens yet, so who knows? I might be able to just push through and out the other side, maybe. Uh, yeah, it don't look good. You can see it turns back into blue sky over there, so it's just this localized area we're underneath it at the moment. Can't smell nothing, so going up and over and then sailing out to sea somewhere. Yeah, there is an awful lot of smoke out there. Yeah, maybe Athens will be alright then. We'll see, we're not too far away now, 50, just under 50k. About half hour. camera can pick it up you see everything's got sort of weird yellowy colour to it it's because the sun's now starting to shine through all that smoke and I can't see it now but a moment ago I could see but it's the smoke's coming way back over like the second mountain range I just about see it again Coming over a mountain range, over that lot that's right next to the motorway, and then off out to sea. Yeah, as you can see on the road surface, it's changing the colour of the sun to sort of a more yellowy orange colour. But that's Athens right in front of us. I'm about to turn off any second. One more toll, what's that? Four in total. Five euros for this one. 
last one was eight euros, so 200 odd k's on about 50 euros, it's not bad. It's somewhere around the seafront over there. Should be Harry's, uh, Harry's truck stop. Right, it should be the next junction. And we'll see what uh, is going on. Worst case scenario, the road is wide enough to get past so I could park on the main road here and uh, have a walk down. It's just here apparently. Parking there, okay. Parking where? Down this road. You know what? Everyone's getting past. Yep, that is a truck stop. I've got to reverse back a bit and take it wide so I can actually get in this corner. Bit of a narrow entrance for a truck stop. Hello, okay. Hello, all good. Parking for twenty four hours. Do you pay inside, yeah? Yes, pay, pay, pay. Okie doke, I'll come in in a moment. Okay, thanks. But yeah, this is me for the next what, 23, 20, 22, 23 hours. And then we get to <laughs> Piraeus uh, Ferry tomorrow. Oh, day seven. We're almost there. Uh, yeah, it's been fairly reasonable. I mean, Athens. Had a very nice uh, souvlaki in the restaurant, a couple of beers and parking. 31 euros. It's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, anyway, my ferry tonight is not until 10 o'clock this evening. It says we need to be there at least two hours beforehand, but I'm going to get there at least four or five hours earlier. Because um, unlike Ancona, I don't know how this port is laid out or how it works. Got some basic instructions, but they haven't wrote, uh, written them down very well. But that's why we're heading there four or five hours early to make sure we get everything sorted. Also, finally, the Greeks, being lovely as always, you must pay at the port. We don't take cards, cash only. So there we go, there's my return ferry ticket. 1,020 euros in cash that I've been holding on to and guarding with my life for the last seven days. But anyway, enough waffling, I've got to try and make my way through 
deepest, darkest Athens. Hope that I don't get lost or go the wrong way, or come to uh, tangles with any other Greek drivers. Daily checks done. 15 minutes on the clock. We're good to go. Turn left and then reverse up there. Let's tackle the Greek traffic then. Yeah, this could be interesting getting out here. Well, it's a bit busier than last night. There should be traffic lights down there that go red at some point. Which I think they now have. Wide, get round the corner. Just about. So it's mostly motorway to start with, that takes us into town, and then we sort of enter the surface level streets. And that's when I have to concentrate properly. to this road on the left so we either go underneath or over the top Piraeus yes this is the one we want so then this is the last bit of motorway and then I think we don't have much choice to either go left or right we want right just follow it around, get to the port, round the back of the port, down to gate E2. The side do not seem to change. This is the one we want to turn right at. Stadium, or is it something else? No, football stadium is the one off to the right. I don't know what that one is. Signs for E2. Blue Star Annex lines in front. I think that's our one. Blue Star, Minoan. No, I'm not booked on either of those. I'm booked with Annex, and that's up near gate E3, that boat. So that, uh, that solves the question of where we're boarding. I wonder if they're loading up already. Ah, an Icline's ticket to booth. Cool. We're all good, we know everything. Cool. Yes. Ticket office, there's the boat. Just gotta get into the port now. Then we 
want left port gate E2 he's coming this way cool only trucks to the right who do you give to who do you give way to there I have no idea only trucks to the right there's a couple of way scales down here looking at uh, only tracks T-R-A-C-K-S no, it's a U not an A so there's way scales down here looking on Google Earth unless we don't need to use it oh there is one there I don't know I don't know if I need to use it or not Be able to get out of the door. But we'll try. Just about. Tickets, okay. Where the truck parks in this whole endeavour? In here? Possibly. In there? Tickets there as well. So two ticket offices. I think I should have gone in down that way. Oh well. But since we're driving round, another reason that I got here so early is because this ferry leaves at ten for uh, ten o'clock tonight. It arrives in Harnia at 6.30 in the morning and if you're any good at doing quick maths you will have realised that that is not nine hours it's an eight and a half hour ferry sailing and I mean I could risk loading and unloading taking nine hours or arrive here and be parked up before 7.30 uh, and clock off for an 11 hour and then have a ferry movement in between because uh, you're allowed to move up to two times totaling one hour maximum so you can do like a 45 minute and then a 15 minute or half hour half hour 15 minutes on 45 minutes off, drive out the port, find somewhere to park, and then finish off your 11 hours. Um, but if I start early enough, I should be able to just drive straight on in one, have an hour to do it, although the boat is literally 50 foot from me. But yeah, I'm going to head over to the ticket office, cash in hand, way ticket in hand, and I will clock off and go on a ferry break in a few minutes. So same as always, put it on rest break, end country, uh, and then I assume you type in ferry straight away, otherwise it might confuse the system. But yeah, I think, just sit and wait for this boat. My 
my god, it has been absolute chaos in here since about 8 o'clock. I'm glad I got here earlier. Oh, oh, we're moving. What's the taco time? 21.32, okay. I won't move until I absolutely have to. Oh, there we go, we're moving. 21.33. Got an hour from now. You see that guy in the high vis standing at the back corner? He's basically there to get ready for the trailer adjustment in case it starts getting too low to the ground, which you might have to do with me. Six o'clock, yeah. Six o'clock, apparently. No, that's what we want. 59 Ks. But anyway, we're here. Crete. 59 Ks to Rhythm No. I'm stopping just a bit before that. Um, I did get a text yesterday saying that loading or unloading could be an issue. So it might mess my plans up of getting done and back on today. today. There is quite conveniently a truck parking spot in the village that I want, so I'm going to pull up there. So I was told to not phone the guy too early. So I don't know if that means he's not going to be there until like a typical working day time, like 8 o'clock, or if he's not going to be there till a Greek time, like 1 o'clock in the afternoon or something. Uh, also, 
I got eight and a half hours rest on the boat on top of uh, the four and a half, so that's 13 hours in total. Assuming that I've done it all right. The taco shouldn't flash at me, it should know that I've had enough rest. Redim to the left. At least at this early in the morning, traffic's fairly quiet, so I can just muddle my way through without too much problem. It's getting light slowly, it might be sun up by the time I get there, but that's it. Cruise on this road and then just pull off to the side after about an hour, and that's it. Because where I need to deliver to is a uh, this road pretty much. Hmm. What a lovely countryside. So, yeah, once we get there I'll pull into the lay-by and then I'll have breakfast. And uh, text this person and see what happens. Also have a walk down as well. Let's see how suitable this road is to uh, get a truck down because it potentially could be dodgy. Should almost be able to see where I'm going. There's a suspicious looking building, I think it might be that one. Yeah, go into this village, pull over to the side. Down. Yeah, I think that is it. That looks like the, uh, a lot like the picture on the old uh, the internet. This is the parking area. Cool. Should be Mimi's Tavern just there. So yeah, just after seven o'clock. What's that? Forty-six minutes of driving. Yeah, that's what I said. Got a toilet somewhere, supposedly. That restaurant looks like it's still being built. That one's open. Get out and go have a walk, I think. So it's looking like it's going to be a reverse job in there. Is the easiest way, because there's no way of blindsiding. Uh, well, certainly not out. It would mean reversing all the way back up to the road, which is just going to be a lot of fun. So it's probably better to reverse in than it is to reverse out. Hmm. Is the road wide enough? I think it is. Or would it be easier to go up the way and turn around somewhere? Possibly with this amount of traffic. Here will do, it's nice and wide.
of my boatman telling me where to go. Left, straight, right, straight, go back, keep going, go back, go back, left, straight. <laughs> yeah, Cars seen better days. <laughs> For now, stick it back on brake and then we good side reverse down that track and the villa's down there. Well, yeah, I just suppose we sit here and wait for our guy. I did text him and he read it, but he hasn't replied. So there's not much else we can do until he's on site. When that will be, I don't know. But at least facing this way, the cab is not facing the sun or not facing straight into it anymore but yeah just sit here and wait now until we get called in well hello this is different this is not a truck that's for sure um yes so what exactly happened um well the guy turned up eventually and said he couldn't unload it until the 20th today it is the 18th. Uh, I think he said midday. Um, so that'll be pretty much 48 hours, almost. And he asked me where I was gonna stay, so. The truck is the only place I can stay, so. He said, no, 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 we'll put you up in the crew hotel, so. Here I am, in a hotel room for uh, two nights at least. It's got a little balcony, little view, air conditioning most importantly, so I don't uh, sweat and die in my truck, which gets incredibly hot, especially when the windows are shut. I parked up at two o'clock, and I think they said I can unload at 12 o'clock. So I won't be getting 45 hours in Athens, I will be getting it here in Crete, in a hotel room, of all places, okay. That's a bit different than what I had in mind, but uh, I'll take it. It's a lot, uh, a lot more comfortable because the aircon runs constantly, rather than only when the engine runs. I packed most things, but uh, unfortunately forgot my shorts and swimming trunks, so I am unable to use the pool and unable to change these sh shorts. And I can't exactly go back to the truck either, because it's five miles away or so, like eight minute drive in the next town. Because the trucks in that original lay-by in Petrus, the, the, the crew found who the owner was and had a word and like, is it okay? Came to some arrangement, I don't know if that involves money, but they've allowed us to park the truck there for two days and I've been brought over to the next town, whose name that I can't pronounce, where's my phone? Georgiopoli or something like that so yeah Georgiopoli is at one end of the bay and then round the other side of the bay you've got Petrus which is where the truck is and it will be there for two days oh god fingers crossed because that lay-by is right next to the main road so everybody goes past it but yeah I've taken all my valuables out they're in the bag there so I can't have anything valuable stolen at least uh, and I've drawn the curtains to make it look like someone's asleep. So that hopefully will work. Brought here, kicked out of the car, go up the reception, check in. They didn't really have a clue that I was coming. Ooh, but yeah, I eventually got given this room after a few phone calls and uh, I haven't heard from anyone since. So just hope someone gets in contact or I can get hold of the guy again. I've got his number at least. It's certainly different from then turning up to an RDC. Yeah, oh, you're early. Go away. Come back later. So, oh, you're early. We'll take you to a hotel. Come, come this way. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if every RDC done this? <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose I'll have a walk around town later once it's a bit cooler and uh, get some dinner.